Alright y'all, it's AGP here and it's Wednesday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> Alright y'all, so first I just want to say I know that this has been a lot of Last of Us Part 2 videos and that's because it's coming out very soon in like nine days or so. Um, I will be having more info on Ghost of Tsushima and Cyberpunk 2077. Trust me, those are coming as well. But I just want to start off with the fact that The Last of Us Part 2's ESRB rating has been officially confirmed so we know what kind of content is going to be in it and to no surprise it is rated M for Mature, which we expected. But they gave us a little bit more of an in-depth description and when I say a little bit more, it really is a little bit more of what we will see and I will tell you what that is right now. It says, the description mentions how players will kill infected mutants during sequences of frenetic combat. There will also be depictions of extreme violence, including a human who is hung from a noose and then disemboweled, which we saw at the E3 conference a year or two ago and they revealed some gameplay. And it says that there are also some sex sequences, while two characters will also smoke weed, which we saw in the trailer. So that is a given. As far as the fighting mutants and infected mutants, that's a given. We know that that's a thing, that it was in the first game. The only new thing is really the, the sex uh, scenes, and I don't know that they're going to really show too much. I don't know how graphic it gets. I didn't go down because they said they were light spoilers, so I won't go check that out at this moment. But that is the ESRB rating, to no surprise, rated M. And it's been banned in some places. Also, though, what's crazy is that you guys probably saw this today, but Neil Druckmann sort of hinted at us possibly getting a Last of Us Part 3. Now, I know the game isn't out yet, and I can't wait to play it and see how it ends. He was saying that basically, it's hard when you're working so diligently on a game once it's finished that basically you, you start thinking about the next project already and honestly, that is what creates greatness. A lot of times when people finish doing something, they're like, okay, I gotta, I'm gotta, i gonna start thinking about what I'm gonna do next time. And his direct quote was, as you start wrapping things up creatively, there are fewer and fewer responsibilities and my mind can't help but think about the next thing. He says, so yeah, the next thing could be a part three. The next thing could be some new IP. And I can't remember what the quote was, but they also, he mentioned possibly it being another Uncharted. And y'all know if you played Uncharted 4 that it ended with his daughter. And it's showing us that he had a daughter with um, his wife. So, that's what's up. I can't wait for another Uncharted, quite honestly. I really hope that will be in the works for PlayStation 5 too. It will look beautiful. But I also can't wait for Last of Us Part 3 if, <laughs> after Last of Us Part 2, which I'm sure will be pretty amazing. So... That's all I have for today. I just want to come here and talk to y'all about that. Again, there will be more Ghost of Tsushima and Cyberpunk news on this channel. If you guys come here for that, that will be here. It's just we're getting close to The Last of Us Part 2. And then after that, it'll be all Ghost of Tsushima. And then it'll be a lot of Cyberpunk news. So that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.